We play and call it work. The Emperor's Champion. Hey everybody, Matthew here from MiniWarGaming.com and welcome to episode 5 of The Emperor's Champion, our Warhammer 40k 9th edition narrative campaign featuring Black Templar, Sisters of Battle, and Gene Steeler Cults. Steve, of course, taking on the protagonist role of the Black Templar and Sisters of Battle, and me as the game master doing the Gene Steeler Cults. So once again, if you, this is your first time tuning in to this narrative campaign, this is an ongoing story that started five episodes ago in episode one. And so if you don't want spoilers, I suggest you go back and watch the first episode. And as usual, every other episode is in the Mini Wargaming Vault. Uh, technically, these are Vault narrative campaigns, but to entice you to come and try out the Vault, we do put out every other episode for free so that you can see if you want to try that. And remember, you can get a free seven-day trial. So clickety-click that link and try it on out. So I will be giving spoilers of what happened last time, so you've been warned. So in our last mission, we or missions, I should say, the Empress Champion and Sister Cathale and, the, and the, all their companions moved through the fortress and were able to find a, a, one of the nodes, one of the, the cogitator nodes that is used to calculate and to sift through all of the, the music that comes through the, the fortress to find the will of the Emperor. And of course they are, they're not horrified, but uh, very upset by the fact that it looks like it's been modified a lot and that the Gene Setter Cults have been busy over the years making changes to the architecture and to the wiring and to who knows what else. And so they needed to purge the heretic. And they did that with some, uh, with some losses. They lost a few of their brethren. And, um, it, but it was a very close battle and they were able to drive out the forces that were at this one node. And that's where we left off. So essentially, as we follow up to that story, after they cleared out the room, they found a tech priest engine seer cowering in the corner. He had been hiding during the fight. And when they basically held a bolt gun to his head and demanded to know what was going on, he claimed to be forced to work for the Gene Sitter Cults along with many of his tech priest engine seer companions. Like I said before, the effort of this fortress monastery and all the sifting for the Emperor's will and the Emperor's words is a joint effort between Psychers and the Adeptus Mechanicus, because the Adeptus Mechanicus provide all of the equipment to make it work, and then the Psychers are the ones who are able to tune into it and to listen to all the information and try to find what it is the Emperor is trying to tell them. And they spend all their lives just doing that one thing, until they burn out or until whatever happens. And so this tech priest engine here claims that they're all being forced to work for the cults, which of course is suspicious. Take that as you will. And, uh, but he does reveal a bit more of their purpose. That he, he doesn't know exactly what is going on, but he knows that when the original Fortress Monastery was created, there was all these nodes throughout. There's, there's hundreds of them. But there's one central node that is more powerful than the rest of them, but they're all kept individual. They're not allowed to be linked together for fear that there would be too much psychic energy um, pouring through and that would just invite demonic incursions. Now there were many fail-safes put in place to stop demons from appearing, one of those being the Black Templar and the Sisters of Battle who used the monastery as their home base. And they would be vigilantly watching for psychers who were getting a little too powerful or things were looking a little too strange and they would quickly execute those. That was one of the fail-safes uh, amongst others that we'll learn about soon. But uh, the problem is now they've been forced to change the architecture and rewire them so that they're actually diverting the power of these nodes all towards the central one. Now they haven't activated all of them, but as they rewire them one by one, the central node is getting more and more powerful. He's confused, however, at the fact that there have been no demonic incursions, even though they've been working on this for years and the power levels of the central node have grown quite strong. In fact, he, he claims that it's actually what is powering the void shields for the entire monastery, which is of course slowing the Black Templar advance as we saw at the very beginning. He also claims that every single new node that they rewire seems to have an effect on the population of the planet, that they become more subservient, because this cult is not just a bunch of gene sealer hybrids. It's a combination of hybrids, those who have been implanted by gene sealers and then have children um, birth hybrids. It's a combination of them, 
plus ones that have kind of become thralls because they've become telepathically controlled, hypnotized by gene stealers and uh, the magus and other of the cult. But there's also plenty of the world's population who are just regular people who have fallen for the ideals of this cult and are joining it because they want to and they think it's a great idea. And just like they were following the emperor before, now they're following this new thing. They're basically just sheep following whoever's most powerful and can continue to feed them and give them some sort of hope. And the Jesus of the cult actually gives them way more hope than the emperor ever did because they're told that one day they're going to ascend to godhood. Whereas before it was just, uh, you're just cogs in a big machine, don't get in the way. And so yeah, so they, they, they've, a lot of the population are actually just regular people. But with every node that was connected, more of those became more fanatical towards it. And so he's seen some sort of alignment between those two things. And he's worried what's going to happen if they, if they connect too many. And already, um, almost all of them have been connected, and so they have to hurry. The problem is, he knows of one of the other fail-safes. And Sister Cathale can corroborate this. She remembers that one of the other things they did in case of catastrophic failure and that the Black Templar and sisters would not be able to execute the psychers fast enough to stop whatever's happening, they actually have hibernation pods scattered throughout the entire monastery. And inside of each of these hibernation pods is a very special person. It is a Calexus assassin. So there is dozens of these Calexus assassins scattered throughout. Now, if you're not familiar, a Calexus assassin is an assassin specifically made to attack psychers and incursions in the warp because they are pariahs, they are nulls. In other words, their very existence is anti-immaterium. They don't have a soul like everybody else does. They have no connection to the warp. And that null connection actually projects outwards around them, destructing any attempts to use psychic powers, even disrupting demons' ability to stay in coherency and and just having a nullifying effect on the warp around them. So they're the perfect failsafe. While in hibernation, that effect is suppressed. But when they're brought out, all they have to do is get near one of the nodes and it would shut it down. But now that there's so many of these nodes active, they need to activate this, this failsafe, these Calexus assassins. But the tech priest is the first to say, you're not gonna get to the, to the main one that we need to get to, the first one, the one that's closest, because they need to access one of the panels to be able to get access to the whole network of all of the assassins. There's too many cultists between us and them. There's, there's, it would be a suicide mission to think that you could get through the hundreds, if not thousands, or tens of thousands of cultists there. But he has another idea. Not too far from this location is a relatively unguarded uh, station that if he can hack into it, he can get access to the internal defenses of the fortress. And those internal defenses being mainly uh, sentry guns and turrets. And if he can access those, he might be able to clear out enough, or at least focus on the areas that they need to be able to pass through and thin the cult enough that the, the, the Black Templar and Sisters of Battle can then fight their way through. So that's where they head, clearing out these small amounts of cultists on their way, and they arrive inside of this control room and the tech priest starts to work on them. He's able to immediately activate a few nearby servitors um, that were slaved up against the wall with heavy bolters, and so he, he got those activated, which now trudge over to provide some sort of support. But now that they're doing this, they have attracted, as they've headed there, they've attracted the attention of all the cultists who are now becoming more and more aware of their presence and their intrusion inside of their fortress. And so lots of them are coming. So Steve's job today in this mission is to hold them off long enough for the Tech Priest Engine Seer to access and activate as many defenses as possible. The longer he can hold them off, the more defenses he'll have in missions going forward. Let's go take a look. Here is your motley force. It's now bolstered by a tech priest engine seer, which you can't do anything with this game. And, but you can do something with his little unit of three servitors with their heavy bolters. As long as you keep them within six inches of the tech priest, then they'll at least get a little buff to their weapon skill and blissa skill. Otherwise, they're a little more derpy. And then we have everything else. We have the ever decreasing crusade squad. They started at 15, now they're at five. They still have their one upgrade that they get plus one of their saves if it's against AP zero or AP minus one. So that's quite powerful, you would think, but they just keep getting downed by AP minus two and minus three weapons. So, you know, eventually it'll matter. And then of course, leading the entire thing, or not leading as in like the leader, but more like the example is our brother Arbrecht, the Emperor's champion. He followed his lead. Yeah, he's got the six inch aura, nine inch aura actually. Somebody pointed out that that aura would be bolstered by the helm as well of plus one leadership to Black Templar, specifically. And he also ignores regular wounds on a six plus. That's in addition to the Black Templar mortal wound ignoring on a five plus. 
We have Retributors behind, and I believe they have not received an upgrade yet? No. No, they have, they're, all, they're one experience away from an upgrade. And then we have our Chaplain next to him, and he's got an extra wound now, so he's five wounds instead of four, and his Crozius is at a plus one strength. Behind him we got Sister Cathale, our Canoness, and her, she's only got one upgrade so far. Um, a plus one damage to her weapon. I thought we did two upgrades. Oh, we didn't write it down. What was the second? Oh, it's another plus one damage. That's right, it's plus two damage to her chain sword. And everybody, just so you know, there is a chain sword on her. It's just on her back. So she got plus two damage to her chain sword. And then lastly, we have our two veterans back here, our sword brother, and they can fall back and shoot and or charge as their upgrade. So the mission is pretty straightforward. The tech priest is busy at the panel. In every command phase, you get to see how well you activate it, but not the first command phase. Okay. Right? After the first command phase, then we'll roll. Essentially, uh, you're gonna roll a d6, and at first it's on a six plus, then five plus, then four plus, then three plus. Um, and when you pass one of those, then one of these three guns is going to activate. Gotcha. Uh, you won't have control over which one. Okay. Uh, it's most likely gonna be the ones in the outside first, the outside corridors. You've managed, he has managed to hack in and lock a lot of the doors, and so that, that'll hopefully slow them down a little bit, but you're probably not gonna see very long before they can start smashing through those. And also because some things have the wonderful ability to crush themselves into the vents, oh. and they might be popping up who knows where. Am I allowed to go to every one of these doors and hold the closed door button? <laughs> you I can try. Actually, you laughed at me, I was actually curious. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't think they're going to be pressing the open button. No. <laughs> I think they're going to be ripping the door off its, uh, oh. its foundation. So, you know. because you've What's coming through? Well, who knows? But you know that they have weapons. They've, have you seen rock I've seen rock sizes, you've, seen, ha you've seen power hammers. You've that's seen power fair. picks. Okay. And you've also seen gene stealers pop up through a grate that's way too small for that gene stealer. Uh, only um, she's seen them. And that's then, true. Yeah. Everybody else is blissfully unaware oh. of that horrible thing that might be looking up through the vents at them Man, right now. Man, they're so big too. Yeah, there might be, there's, there's most likely some looking up through these vents right now. Fantastic. Just watching you. Fantastic. If you shine a flashlight yeah. down there, you'll see like two beady eyes. I'm going to reposition. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden it just opens up and a guy disappears down the vent and you hear screaming. But very, more Space Marine, like, like oh. Yeah, it'll be the Wilhelm Street. Oh. Like, not. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. You don't get first turn, though. Oh. Because um, it wouldn't make sense. There's not much for you to do. You're already deployed, and you're ready to go. No. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, let's go. Oh, and he has got access to the aspect scanners and everything else, so you are able to see into the hallways. Nice. So I don't have to put blips down and stuff. Oh, that would be cool. In this case, it's unnecessary. Our first wave is a small one. We got a unit of neophytes with a couple mining lasers getting ready to blast through that door. On the other side, we got a hefty group of um, our aberrants with their hammers, followed by some regular cultists just ready to uh, to fire through once they bang open those doors. Shooting phase, we're just gonna try it. We're gonna, th uh, the blasting charge won't do anything, but we'll try the mining lasers into them. Fours to hit. Ooh, they both hit. And threes to wound. Okay, all right, this door is going down. So it'll have a six up save against these mining lasers. And they both go through for d6 damage each, and that is enough. First one has exploded. The aberrants will then charge and attempt to take down this door. It should be easy unless they're super unlucky. Eight power hammer attacks hitting on fours because they're minus one to hit. The door's hard to hit. Yeah, apparently it's hard to hit a door. You think it would be... Oh wait, no, it's... It's a it, mobile? Yeah, it's, it, it's hit automatically. <laughs> and then threes to wound. Yeah, yeah, we got it. They hit it so hard that it flies down and knocks this one open. Just kidding. Happens. And then they'll consolidate forward. Scary, scary aberrants. That's my turn. Okay. Well, I think I got a very simple turn, actually. So I, I, we talked about this off camera, but in the command phase, Steve is allowed to open or close doors. He can't do both to the same door, obviously. Um, how many can I open? Um, we'll say two. Okay. We'll I'll say you can operate two. I want to open this one. So we'll keep, we'll actually not take this thing out so we can represent that it's not been destroyed. And then I'm thinking I want to open another one. It's going to be this one. Try to just funnel them or expose them yeah. to the bolters if you actually get those activated. The activated, right. End of the command phase on a six up, you'll activate one. No, so the next one will be on a five up. Six to the tables in that count. Movement phase. Now you're, you're, you don't have to stay in this room. You're welcome to do whatever strategy you see fit. Well, okay. So actually, um, I gotta do a litany to make sure he can do his damage on a five plus. And then he we're does. gonna and then we're gonna give them the ability to have the assault phase. The assault doctrine. Plummet. Sorry, assault doctrine. And then I am gonna move a little bit. 
I want everybody, everybody's kind of like guarding a door currently. But I do want to reshuffle a little bit, but I don't get too close for a charge. Uh, I think they will move up. Yeah, they don't suffer a penalty for shooting, so if you can get them in 24 inch range, they could blammo those guys. So we're going to do that right now. Let's we'll off with these melt guns going after the aberrants. So threes to hit. Ooh, Ooh. loving it. And you talked this four, right? Yeah. Four twos. Twos to wound. They don't get a save against that, so d6 minus one damage each. Oh, uh, I should do my time. Yeah, okay, so. It's all right. It, it, it's one, one, and five. One, one, and five. I'll do the five first, just because, whatever. So five up to ignore. Oh, so here that one died, and then we have one and a one, so those both can blow on the same one too. No, sorry, because you don't remember, like these guys are minus one. Yeah, they're minus damage. one damage, so the one, uh, but minimum one. Yeah. So one gets a melted, and the other one just shakes it off. And those three all those servers have three heavy bolters. They're hitting all fours because there is a engine here nearby. Ooh, and we're on threes. We got two, two wounds. Minus one each. Now I just want to point out, because people have said this already, they're like, hey, you're not using the new stats for the new Space Brain stuff, like That's the extra damage. And I'm like, well, it's not even out yet. Yeah. And we're going to be done this long before. <laughs> That's true. So we're just using old stats. If you're watching this later on. No, these current are, stats. Well, I'm saying this to the future people. <laughs> oh. So you from the future, we're using the old stats. True. In this case, it which wouldn't matter. Current. Which are current for us. us. Yes. <laughs> but we know right now the in the past. We know about the new ones. It's current here in the past. But they're not there yet. Yes. Current here in the past. Now, in this case, it wouldn't matter if they were damaged too, because it's minus one damage to the efforts anyway. So minus one AP, so six up save, followed by five to ignore. Golly, they will not go down. Kill? That is all for your shooting, no charging. So we got uh, morale. They're leadership seven though, so they can't fail with only one having died. So we're going to roll an advance on these neophytes. A one. So they'll be moving seven inches. They're making their way in. The aberrants will move up six inches so they can attempt a very long charge. Our cultists will move up just a bit so the front two can fire their last guns. I'm sure that'll be super effective. And they're gonna fire into the retributors. Oof. That's what I measured to. Actually, and then the, I, I, I don't only measure to them. So the ones in the back will all fire at your champion. That's fair. So the two into the retributors hitting on fours. And then the four on the Empress Champion on fours. So we got two hits, wounding on fives. No wounds. And then the Aberrants need a 10 inch charge to get to the Emperor's Champion. I oh, want you to come in. And they fail oh. it. No rerolls. Sorry, at the end of the movement phase, there was supposed to be another waves added to the table. So we've got four Acolyte hybrids here, two with rock saws. So they're going to charge the door and try to take it down. Looking at threes to hit the door. No, sorry, automatically hitting the door. So these are strength eight. So all four of those wound, two damage each is gone. The door just falls right off its hinges. Into your command phase. Well, um, I'm going to, this is interesting. Um, I'm gonna open up this door. Oh. But uh, this guy here knows the impetuous nature of this poor chap. <laughs> Order him to shut this one. Oh, cause he knows he'll run into the aberrants? Yeah. Got one more turn of them having to hammer down another door. Well, we're gonna go ahead and give him the. Yeah, I'll give him the assault phase doctrine, and then he'll do the litany to ignore damage on all five plus. But he fails. Uh oh, the assault doctrine. Right. Not assault phase doctrine. Assault phase doctrine. <laughs> the doctrine in the assault phase. Assault phase doctrine. And right. now he's managed to hack further. Let's get the guns going. Oh, he gets one. Okay, so it's gonna be one of these two. Okay. So I'll just randomize it. One, two, three, four. Oh. And he rolled a two. This one. So this one activates. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this on camera, so I'll say it now. Each one of these sentry guns is not what they appear. They're actually quad heavy bolters. So they pack a punch, but they must fire at the nearest thing. <laughs> and they're gonna be simple. They're going to be um, ballistic skill four plus. So lots of shots. Move well, face. if we can't charge them, we'll charge something. Which happens like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> don't, don't go by yourself. Shooting phase. All right, ready to fire the quad bolter on these poor chaps. Fours to hit. I can live with this. This is not terrible. It's not that great though. Threes to wound. So oh, that's good. five wounds with a minus one AP. So six up saves. So five die. I just kind of picture the sentry guns from Alien. Do you remember those? How they're just like, Alien? they're watching the, the ammo count down on them. Actually, no, that was a deleted scene. I was watching on YouTube the other day. Oh, yeah. The, the, the sentry guns are just firing down the corridors. Is an all alien? The alien or aliens? Which one? I don't know which one. It was on YouTube. I watched a YouTube video of it. I don't remember. Must be aliens. Probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I kind of picture them like that. Like, they're just pumping out so much lead. But there's just so many aliens coming down. I don't know any sentry guns in that movie at all. Oh, okay. Guys, now it's going to bother me. I have to wait for this video to go up for somebody to comments to tell me what it is. Or, you know, so, research just, it yourself at lunch. I'm going to forget at lunch. <laughs> 
The Emperor's champions can go ahead and declare charge. Probably I think I'm gonna need an eight. eight. Well, let's check it. Well, You're right, you need an eight. Yeah. Reroll the two to get a three plus. Two to three. Oh, it got worse. He oh, hesitated. No. It's because he's holding me. He's got his hand on my shoulder. He's like, wait, brother. Wait, no, brother. Oh, and these rock stars are coming for you. Brother. Morale, we lost five. Only leadership seven. And this one will flee. He's like, nope, 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 nope. nope. Genius to their cult's turn. Aberrants will move up. I can't believe you keep failing these crucial charges. <laughs> it's okay. So now they're just going to come I in. didn't fail them. The Emperor kept me from going oh. where I wanted to go, because that's not where he wanted me to go. Well, at least only two will be able to get to you. And we'll advance these neophytes. Five. Coming right up to here. Obviously not going to be able to fire. They can aim ready for when they smash open those doors. Got more reinforcements. we got some metamorphs showing up here. Got some work for your heavy bolters to do. And then a group of neophytes comes in here with their seismic cannons. Continue phase, we'll put those two seismic cannons. And we're ignoring the moving and firing heavy weapons with them uh, because of the cult that they're from, and which is a mixture of different cults. And we've got uh, force to hit. And at this range, we're strength six minus one, two damage. So we're looking at actually fives to wound. So that's one wound with a minus one, so four up save. Oh, okay. it is not getting through that one quite yet. We'll charge. And we'll charge. Now this doorway is kind of too big, so I'm just going to pull it out for a second to fit the base. So only the two rock saws will be able to get in there. But mm, boy, uh, heroic intervene. I don't think I can. You you can technically. You just won't be able to get there. So it's not really much it's going to do. Yes. So three hammers into this door, hitting on automatic. Threes to wound. So we got four wounds, and that's going to destroy it. Sorry, they do get a six up save against this. I have to roll a lot of sixes though. They're minimum three damage each on D6 damage. Boom! Oh, he over the explosion. He's dead. And then they consolidate inwards. And then the two rock saws into the Emperor's Champion. Maybe he'll survive. So he, the Emperor's Champion has a built-in minus one to hit him in close combat. So we're looking at fours to hit. You better pray I do poorly here. Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, only half of them hit. But they are strength eight, and you are toughness four. So twos to wound. I'll be fine. Oh, you are. The Emperor protects. So hold on, you're in bombs? Four up. You just shrugged them off like they're nothing, Steve. The, Those were rock saws. Get the Emperor's shield. Yes. Get them back. All right, buzzsaw. We're hitting on twos. No characters nearby. We're wounding on, what's your toughness, three? Yeah. Twos. Yeah. Uh, you killed three of them. Obviously, we're going to leave a rock saw alive because somebody grabs one. You, sh you chop down the two rock saws, but then the other one quickly picks it up because you can quickly. That actually rock should saws. be a rule in the game. Good. I've lost three of my buddies. He's leadership seven. Does he turn around and try to run but get, sh get a, a sword through his back? So, leadership seven, so I got to roll a four or less. Oh, he does! Turns around and gets a sword to the back. Ooh. In your next turn. Now, since you made your five up, it's going, it doesn't reset to a six up, but it gets one worse. So it looks like it reset to a six up. God, so you five up again? So yeah, so if you if you got all the way down to threes and you made your three up, then it'd become four up. So it's not gonna always reset because that takes, that could take a lot of turns. Okay. But you will need a six up to activate another sentry gun. So Any my, doors you want to open or close? I, I Yeah, actually, so I want to I want to close this one, but I don't want these guys to be shooting doors. I want to open up this one. So you can close it later on? Yes. You're like, hey, come on in. And like, oh, our boss let us in. Let's go, guys. End of command phase? Well, I do, okay, oh. uh, Litany first. This time it's gonna go on himself. Oh, technically that's before the command phase. Right. <laughs> I know, it doesn't uh, And I'll give um, the chaplain to when he fights, he'll fight as if he is in the assault phase, because it's a buff. Assault doctrine. I just he said. Always fights in the fight phase. <laughs> there is no assault phase. Oh, is there not? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm wrong on so many levels the way I'm saying it. <laughs> We all know what you mean. <laughs> That's all that all matters. Now, well, do you activate another sentry gun? So you need a six. Oh, no, no, no you guns. do not. Move in face. Move You got this, man. You got this. You're holding well, them off. The problem, no problem is, like, everybody wants to get up there, know, but the they have orders to stay you... back. Like, no, stay back, guys. You know what's going to happen. They're going to come a-knocking. Nah, the characters will just stay. Yeah, that's good, that's good. We want to shoot him. You got him, you got him. You could bring your damage three chainsword up to take no, care of No, she's actually, I'm actually, she's actually in the reserve force. It's like, uh, this is not anything. She does all the work. <laughs> right. So we're going to the shooting with the multi guns. Into the aberrants? Yep. We got uh, three re-rolling ones. Wow. Okay. They didn't want to shoot the chaplain because he's right in front of them. Well, we're going to throw a grenade. We're going to do a, do a crack. It hits. Does not wound. Nope. And then he'll do also a crack. Okay. Misses. 
It's okay, we got heavy boulders. Now, do you want to fire at them, or do you want to fire down the hallway? No, no, we have, I'm not worried about them. We got to thin these guys down. I know how much they can take uh, melee combat. So we're hitting on fours. Yeah, That's the actually pretty good. Threes to threes. I not like bad. it, I Five like wounds. it. They'll get a six up save against that, and save one of them, and then a five up to ignore the damage, which they lose three of them. So they kill one of the aberrants and wound the next one. Those guys are gonna turn, start firing all these guys. So fours hit for that boy, and threes. You got four fourth. more, six up save. So three of them die. It's doing work. Actually, she must take some glory. She didn't fire a bolt gun. Looking for a two and a four. Yes, no AP though. So we've got a five up save, followed by a five to ignore. She got one. Surely the chaplain and the emperor's champion can take out the last one. Charge o'clock. Okay, so this is interesting. I can't get to where I want to be. Yeah, he's you got but, enough space to go past there, but you have to. You can't go past him unless you make him a charge target. I, I am going to declare charges, but I'm actually going to roll these. I want either side of them. So I'm start off with my emperor's champion. I want to end just maximum. So you can engage them after he kills yeah. it? Yeah. If he's the one that kills and it. And then he'll also go ahead and boom. He's the backup. But I want him to fight first. Who? Uh, the chaplain. Let's go with the chaplain and get the experience. Well, I want him to free him up the slingshot. Or hitting on twos and we're wounding on threes with the chaplain. So that's three. So minus one AP, so six up saves. I fail one of them. No, no. These are normally two damage each, but they're minus one damage because he's an aberrant. Probably fine. It's so one damage each, so fives to ignore it. Oh, oh you got God. him! Chaplain gets the point. And then your Emperor's champion can go. He and won't be able to fight the neophytes. No, fights. but he's going to keep them from going anywhere else. Okay, well then they will respond and take you out, and you're going to wish you never came in here. Watch this. Six attacks hitting on fives because you're the Emperor's champions all. Uh, well, we got two. Well, that's two wounds that you're going to lose now, Steve. <laughs> oh, no. Fives to wound. Oh, oh no. never mind. Didn't that's even add up to a five. Well, Morale, we lost three of our friends here. They're level, or their leadership seven. So that would make one more run, and we've got to roll for the rest of them. They're not below half strength, so one will make them run. One more runs. One more runs. Into the Gene Stealer's turn, we got our metamorphs. Our hybrid metamorphs will come up and engage. Possibly get to your champion. Our group of neophytes here will advance. Five. We're gonna try to get away oh, from- Oh, they got through. They got through the door, but, you know, yeah. And then popping out of the grate, we got five gene stealers who will not be allowed to charge this turn. So you got one turn to shoot them down. Mm. But then we got some aberrants knocking on the side door with their power picks. We'll go right to the charge phase. So the metamorphs will declare charge against your champion and your chaplain. And they fail, miserably. Well, these aberrants will obviously charge this door successfully. Their power picks will attack first, hitting on the automatically. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. Fives to wound. Ooh, we got three wounds. Five up save on the door. Ooh, Ooh, two get through. D3 damage each. Remember, the doors have four wounds. One, two, three, four, five. Boom! And then they will consolidate. Pile it into the room. Oh, sorry. Consolidate into the room. And you get to choose who fights next. It's going to be the Emperor's Champion, obviously. We got five attacks on twos and chopping heads off on twos. Oh, well, that's no. three dead guys. The three regular ones go down and then I'll attack back. Fours, no, fives to hit because they're minus one to hit and fives to wound. Mm boy. Followed by a morale test on them. We lost three of their buddies at leadership seven. And one more will run and then we'll roll for the last two. They're below half strength, so ones and twos will be running. Nobody else runs. Back to your turn. You got aberrants piling to the side. We got gene stealers who have popped up. And we've got other cultists closing in. Okay, well, I think my turn is simple. We're going to have. So hold on, I've got to do Litany first. Okay, actually, Litany will go on the Emperor's Champion. Yes. So ignore damage, not five plus. We're going to have him use his helmet onto the. I forget his name. The Chaplain. He's his brother, Chaplain, sir. He will fight as if he has the Assault Doctrine on. Yay! You got Nailed it. it! Nailed it! <laughs> So proud of myself. And then the Emperor. Hold on, hold on. Wills it. We're just moving. We gotta check to see if he hacks. Oh, on a four right. plus now. No, it's up to five now. I was at six, so I went down one. Oh, no, we're only at the five. Yeah. So you do, you hack. So we're gonna randomize it. It'll be this one. Actually, I want you to roll me a D3. One, two, and three. One. one? Okay, that one. That no, sorry, this one, this one. Yeah. Just one, <laughs> two, or three. 
So you got your two entrance ones on now. They don't, well, have, anything to sh they don't have much to shoot. I got one, but we'll get to that. We're going to move first. Chapel moves Moving up. up. These boys are going this way because Sister Cathal are going to deal with them. That's right. Strength three, baby. Or, or three damage. These guys are holding off. I just I just feel like something there's something big, big coming it's through It's a here. big door. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get even closer. So you can see they're called just card effects. <laughs> you know, those. All right, let's go to else. guns. Well, let's start off with the uh, melted guns into the aberrants. On threes and twos. Oh, oh no. Uh, how much damage? Uh, so you're within half range, so you can roll two dice and take the That's true. One. So four, four down to three. Ignore it on fives. Oh, you got it. Just barely. So one dies. Now we'll do her bolt gun. Oh, roll really ones. ones. And fours. One. one. Five up armor. Followed by five up. Ignoring. Ignores. We'll do heavy bolters from the thralls into the same squad. Oh, only three, three hits. Hit. Winning on three stuff. Two. Two. Wounds. Six up save, followed by five up ignoring. Nothing ignored. That kills one. That's actually quite fortuitous. And her bolt gun. Twos and fours. One more. One more. Five up. Five up. I take another wound. You're working your way through. We got four bolt pistols going there, but he's going to throw a frag grenade. At the gene sealers? Yeah. So let's do bolt pistols. Threes to um, hit. Threes and fours. Two more. Uh, they are not in Assault Doctrine, so these are not. there's no AP to them. Correct. So five up. Nice. Five up. Oh, look at Ooh. that. You've actually almost cleared them all up by shooting. That was Interesting. Unlikely. The frag grenade will be five shots. Hitting on threes. And winning on what, fives. fives. Not nothing. He'll also frag over here. So we're going to have three shots on twos and fours. Fours, that's right. And we're looking at five up saves, two die. I'm going to make the charge a little harder for you. And then we'll shoot down those, oh, those rock light razors. Rock razors? What am I saying? Those are neophyte hybrids. I'm, I'm firing at your, your, your weapons. Is what I'm firing Seismic at. cannons. And threes. So five. Six up saves. I got three left. They're dead. At this point, I'm basically going to stop putting reinforcements on this side. Not because I'm trying to get around them, but to represent the fact that those heavy bolters just like be, between the going. two of them. Okay. They'll just be... Glad I rolled those so there. So there's going to be less reinforcements. So the only reinforcements that I'll actually put on the table will be the ones that come in from these sides. I'm waiting for it. He's, he's, waiting. he's like, why is there a big door there, Matthew? Why um, is there you could have grabbed another one of these with another door. Yeah. But you grabbed one with the door. Yeah, weird. So I'm in charge. Let's start over here. I want to get the chaplain in. He's in. And then I want to get, uh, oh, well, up, well, up, the crusade squad. Into the oh, after right now. Yeah. I think that's their job for the day. And then we're going to go ahead and put her into the aberrant. Because she loves killing Xenos. We'll start with the sister here. Uh, she has five attacks because of our chain sword. She's hitting on twos and re-rolling ones. And I think I'm wounding on five. Oh, yeah. that's a drop die. Oh, you missed one. You missed one. No. Oh, it was a, yeah, two's a, a hit. Yeah, two's a hit. Nothing. Nothing. OK. OK. Maybe the Crusade Squad will have a better go at it. It's five key sealers. I'll start off with him. He gets, he gets the reroll because yeah. he's obviously outnumbered. Uh, reroll on ones. Does he have two attacks? Oh, he's got the knife. Yes. And he's a space marine. One. one wound so far. And, and chain swords. Oh no. You got one more hit. One more hit. They're hitting on oh, there's a real one. So a four, four more, more wounds. So five total. And then finally the uh, axe on the sergeant. Threes and threes. Two more. So seven total. Five up invulnerables against all these as I dodge out of the way. And you got exactly five of them. <whistles> Wasn't scary at all. Chaplin's going next. He's hitting on twos. Oh, he's fine. He's got strength good now, so two's the wound. I think one of those is a six, which would automatically win, but that's fine. That's true, you got, right. you got them all through. It's and minus these are two because of the assault, assault doctrine. So they die. And he's, he's going to go backwards. So now all the Your charges pick. are done. It's my pick. So obviously I'm going to pick these two because there's no point yeah. going after the sister. See if I get lucky and take a wound off you. Not likely, but we can try. Fives to hit. Miss. Now he can chop. Yeah, he's back on twos and, and to kill. You got him. He's straight six. Two. Sorry, twos to kill. <laughs> yeah. I always forget how weak my guys are. We'll just keep going to the enemy. To the enemy. 
There's only one enemy on the table at this point. The Aberrant will swing mm. at the Cannoness, hitting on threes. Oh, you're lucky. <sighs> Wounding on threes. She got four bin bone! And protects. Oh, she's fine. Got one rending claw attack though, hit on a three. Wounding on a three. The six is being rending, so this is minus one. Four up. Oh, oh the Emperor protects. Morale phase, I lost three aberrants. They are leadership seven. He does not run. He does stick around. Well, you cleared that wave quite succinctly. Mm -hmm. There's only one aberrant left on the table with one wound. Everything else is destroyed. And these heavy bolters, you can hear them just... Mowing down the enemy. As you hear screeching down that corridor. Good, that's what it's, it's, just, it's just like dozens and dozens and dozens of cultists are running through the hail of bullets without thinking about... Music to our ears? That's yeah. Kind of morbid, but okay. <laughs> yeah, you're space. Ah, we're enjoying it. And they're, they're <laughs> mutants and heretics. So. Yeah, they're not real people. <laughs> <laughs> as long as we can make us and them categories. That's right. That's all I'm going to do. Oh, no, we're not going down this road. So you got one round of reprieve. It's my turn. The Aberrant will do nothing except stand there, and then you can swing at him first. Emperor Shane Sword. Two's to hit. <laughs> Rerolling. Five's to wound. That's why I say Emperor Shane Sword. Three damage, sir. Down to two. Well, assuming I fail my five up, which I didn't. Uh oh. Swings wildly at the cannon S hitting on threes. Wow! I said, mm. well, I guess I said wildly. That would be <laughs> accurate. Rending claw hits and wounds. Four up. And you no. take a wound, and you don't have any way to ignore that wound. So essentially, at this point, it's, it'll be your turn. We're going to say that you finish him off. So I'm going to give you two rounds of repositioning yourself before the next waves come from the side. Because basically, what you hear for the next little while is just bodies getting mowed down, and eventually okay. that stops. And then you can start hearing scre um, screeches coming from the other sides. Okay. So you can just reposition your guys however you want. If you want to like get really far, obviously this side is going to be well protected. And then no. we'll roll twice to see if you activate any more defenses. What we're going to do is we're going to put the Black Templars over here, but in a way that kind of protects everybody else. Emperor's Champion... I don't know where he wants to go. We'll do this. The central. All right, so you get to roll twice. A six up and a five up. So the first one will be a six up. No, and a five up. No, so you don't activate the last one yet. And you need to activate all three of them before this mission is done. And then there's one more thing he could also activate, which he doesn't know what it is yet. But that's your bonus if you want to hold out that long. I do. All right, well, let's plop Unless down. Unless he's going to betray me. I wish I don't. <laughs> well, what do I he's do? totally not working for the cult, except because they I think it. he's working for the cult. <laughs> like, I feel like if I wait and do the bonus, it turns out... I'm a, just a big I'm old a patriot. Boy. Yeah, he pops up. I was just waiting to pull up a mask and tear you all apart. Can you imagine if Patriarch appeared right in the middle of all of you? You know what? Come over here a second. Uh, we're gonna have. Uh, he is now adamantly watching, <laughs> and we're gonna go for the bonus. The tech marine does not seem to, or the, yeah, yeah, the, the engine seer does not seem to be paying attention. He's got his bolt pistol. On. He's just kind of like aiming up at the guy's head, but down by his hips, so we can tell. <laughs> like a, yeah, and he's working really hard. He's got all his wires hooked into the machine, and so he's he's totally unaware of the chaplain's mistrust. Oh, okay. So we got a big wave coming through. We got a group of big group of acolytes here. We got some neophytes, and some guy with a cloak that you saw last time. Yep, he's on the opposite side of the Emperor's Champion. It was coward. Yeah, yeah. And then on the other side here, we've got a bunch of metamorphs and neophytes and aberrants with hammers, but those doors are still sealed shut, and they're about to swarm in. Let's go to my shooting phase. Start over here. Two mining lasers are going to try to pop that open. Fours to hit. And threes to wound. Oh, you're lucky. Well, well we'll fire all the other guns. Lucky. If we could, no, because these guys are then charged through. Well, let's shoot the last guns at it. It's not going to be very effective. Whoa, I take that back. We do need sixes to wound, though. But do you see all those sixes? <laughs> Can you do it again? No. No, no, of course not. Then on this side, we have two flamers going into your crusade squad, followed by... Blast guns and auto guns. Hey, there's only five of you. Not that these are blast weapons. I keep thinking flamers are blast weapons. So five automatic strength four hits, wounding you on fours. Three wounds, AP nothing. I'm gonna go with two of armor, power armor for, I'm gonna go with two of them for now. Oh! Hey! Ah! Ah! The most unsurvivable, survivable squad in the entire game. All right, one more two up. Go ahead. It's also a one. Come on! How did you do that? That was amazing. Colin! <laughs> Colin? You're playing Colin? Edit this out, Colin. <laughs> Show them to win. How did you... Okay. You're making it look like that upgrade's not overpowered. We, we already know it is. I know. I know. This plus one to save thing sucks. It's terrible. <laughs> All 
All right, last gun player. Last gun's hit on fours. And fives to wound. Oh, look, no wounds. Okay, so you got three of your guys. Are any of them dead? Well, now you don't roll the ones. At least they didn't permadie. True. We're gonna declare some charges. The Locust will declare a charge into your crusade squad. Fails. <laughs> then on this side, the Metamorphs will charge to try to tear open this door. They don't realize it's a bad idea <laughs> until it's too late. And then the Aberrants will punch open that door. Mighty Metamorphs, we got three of our big claws. We're gonna try to tear open the door with that. Threes to hit with the claws, re-rolling ones. They all but one hit. They're only strength six. Well, strength six is great, but it's toughness seven, so <laughs> five's the wound. We got five wounds at minus one AP, so four up saves. Do you want to roll the wound on that one on the immobile door? Oh, right. It's immobile. I forgot. No more, okay. <laughs> uh, you fail four of them. That's uh, that's exactly how many. Well, Steve, what's wrong with your saves? This is what I want. Yeah, you want the door open, that's right. Now you're in trouble. And then they will pile in. <laughs> Aberrants will punch open that door. Eight automatic hits. Threes to wound. Ugh. Three, three sixes! Yeah, no. It's, no, the it's, Emperor wants the door open. Yeah, it's open. This is actually Honestly, like a third of those would have knocked that door open. And they will consolidate inwards as well. Rawr. This door was not attacked, though. Yep. Weird. And this is not connected, by the way. I've told Steve this before. You kind of have to... Uh, Imagine each door. They're doing stay. their job. They're gonna stay there. They're staying there. They're not they're, gonna leave it. They're doing their job. You need. You might need to help them. I don't think I do. I actually really don't think I need to help them. Okay. Well, I uh, um, failed this long charge in, so that's the end of my turn. Yeah. There is a morale check. You lost three of your buddies. Let's do leadership eight. We're good. You're fine. And now it's back to your turn. What do I do? Well, you start with your litany. Well, that is true. Where is he? Okay, it's well, way back here. Look at the tech. He is gonna lit me. He's gonna have them in order to have five plus. You got that was it. a drop die. Right. Why? Who cares? It's not like you control the drop die. Just keep the first one, man. This isn't the competitive game. Okay. Are you all right? Are you right, Dave? Why won't they live? <laughs> they refuse. <laughs> like we just don't want to be oh. here, sir. Somehow we survived falling 100 feet and being buried in rubble. He's gonna give himself the ability to fight as if he was in the assault doctrine. Right. And well, then, does he hack on a four plus? He does. Okay, so on a one, two, or three, it's this one. Okay, so this one turns on. Mm, boy. I can't see anything. Uh, they, can, they can see them. But I want to fight them. You don't have a choice. It has to fight. <laughs> it has to fight the nearest thing. Well, we're going to do that first. Well, let's, let's move first. Oh, yeah, we are going to move. Okay, so this is a bad move. He does not want to fight them, except the Emperor wants him to fight oh, them. Oh yeah, of course. Of course he wants to fight them. Uh, Steve doesn't want him to fight them. We're doing it. Bring it. We're doing it. He's got to keep doing what he's doing over here. He's really concerned about that tech freeze. And they're holding the door. They, they refuse to leave that door. And you're you're hoping that the heavy bolter will be enough to take out. Uh, she'll hold. Okay. You want to move your melted guns anywhere so you can see stuff better? Uh, they, they can get here and they can see down both alleys. No, they're, they're pretty they good. this way. They can totally see that way. You, I can see from my so? point of view. Much oh, easier. you're right. So we'll have this yeah, one. If you, move, if you move forward, straight forward. This one, and he'll go, she'll go around and then she was here, so I guess we'll have to go here for Yeah, let's go here. Shooty face. Okay, let's start off with this uh, bolt gun into these boys. Or, quad, sorry, the quad bolter. heavy bolter. It's fours to Jeez, hit. He's Louise, man. It's angry. Three to wound. Ooh. Okay. A minus one, but they'll have cover through that doorway, so back to a five. Oh, you got your wish. There's three left. Sorry, three die. Uh, whip, whip. Oh, this will keep you in coherency. He's gonna try to bank a frag grenade. He's six shots. It's gonna be two, no, two shots on threes and four. It was a hard. It was, yeah, it, it kind of just bounced off and exploded. That's right cool. There. He heard the explosion. He turns around real quick, fires one bolt pistol, and he goes back with it over here. He doesn't even really turn around. I can't remember if the boost kills two or That is a miss. But you do have servitors. Uh, it's actually. They could, they yeah, could they'll go next. Because I don't want to lose a line of sight. We got three servitors on fours. But yeah, they're mm, pretty, they're pretty that's shooting. That's actually pretty good. Three's and, to wound. Oh, it's dropped. Oh, now you pick up the drop die. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. With cover, they're back to a five up. Uh, three more wounds. Well, you know what? The leader actually has a higher leadership, so we're going to keep him just in case he survives. Our retributors are next. We're going to put the Meltas into the Ugly Boys and then the Twin Bolt, sorry, the Bolt Gun into him, but in rapid fire. So we'll do that first. So threes and. Nothing. Double ones, two mortal wounds. Hmm. All right, let's do Melta Guns. We're hitting on threes. 
We're wounded on twos. Uh, and how much damage? You're, Three. You're, so in, you're two. within 12 inches. Roll That's again. right. Five. Five. So four. Do I ignore enough of them? No siree. I'm going to kill the one out front so I can get more to fight him. That's that little narrow space there. He's going to throw a crack grenade. So he hits and he wounds. Minus one. Yep. Six up. D3, D3 minus, minus one. one. Perfect. Oh, two. Fives to ignore. Oh, you got one of the crack grenade. Nice. Boom. Over here, we're going to do a frag grenade and a pistol. So we'll do a frag grenade. Um, okay, so it's four. Is there any So minimum do? three. Yeah. Is there any one. reason why I couldn't do the pistol all the same here? Uh, yes, because the frag grenade wounds on fours and the pistol wounds on threes. This frag grenade's at strike three. Yeah, you're right, I'll see about missiles. Uh, so we're hitting on threes with the, the grenade, and we're wounding on fours. One and so before far. you save, the pistol hits and does not wound. No AP, so five up. I'm ah, fine. Uh, can, yeah, she had, uh, she was gonna fire back here, but I guess she can't now. So we're gonna fire the bulk of Ford. It's hitting on twos, it's wounding on threes. No five AP. up. One dies. This charge, we're going to start off with the uh, Crusade Squad. We're going to have to both units, obviously. You don't have to roll. Obviously, you're in. I guess I didn't have to. I don't think your gun's in my way here underneath your gun. Which means, if I go here... No, you got to stay in coherency. Are you within two inches? You know, I, I think, don't think... I think I they can. might block the can of this. Okay, if I go there, do you think I can fit through? Well, why don't you just pick up the model? I'm going to pick up this that. one. Oh, look at that. Ooh, we'll like a it. glove. She'll charge just them, I guess. Yeah, she won't forget to the... Nexus. I don't know why... Ah, I guess I could have revealed that. Beautiful. That's so weird. Technically, they're in coherency. And then we'll charge them, obviously. Fail. Oh, we're going to reroll that because we're Black Templars. There we are. Two to a ten. He's eager. Over here, we're going to charge this guy, and the Emperor will let me know whether he wanted me to do that or not. He uh, actually oh, did. He wanted me to do leaving it. Leaving the doors. He's he leaving the doors, do Dave. It. This is what he wanted. What am I going to do? Fight phase, I where think are we starting? I think we're gonna start right here, because I think it's gonna be really easy. It might not uh, be that easy. To hit. And then we're gonna reroll to wound. So it's two wounds <laughs> at minus two. No, he's dead then. Oh, he's got the whip though. No, he no. still get to fight. I'll just do that right now. It's normally like when it's his turn to fight, but he he as you chop him down, he jumps forward with his bone sword. The Emperor. Four attacks with his bone sword. Threes to hit. Oh, two <laughs> to fail. And then fours to wound bone sword. Oh, yeah, oh. see, keep the faith. Oh, he tried so hard. And they'll push over towards the neophytes. He must be a video horde. Champion into the aberrants. Okay, six attacks because we six attacks because we charged. Okay, we're hitting on twos. Your strength. Four. Oh, we're on threes. Four. Just two. I'll get a save against D three damage each. Minus so, one, so two. Yeah, my uh. Why you throw the dice? Is what No, so two then one. Ooh. So do I stop the first two? No. Oh, I do. I stop one of them. So does that last one kill one? No! Uh-oh. Those are power They're needed numbers. to be alive for another turn to prevent something else that's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, the yeah. right... It's right. And then on this side... We'll go ahead and do the Canoness. Into the Neophytes. She hits on twos with her crazy good chainsaw. She's winning them on fours. So three wounds. Five up. Oh, she only kills one. Embarrassing. All right, she can go ahead and push in. As much as she can. Maybe. Are you within half an inch? I don't know. Half an inch? I think, oh, that looks a little bit too... Only the uh, power axe is going to be in range. Interesting. Well... Are you going to swing at the neophytes or the locusts? I can't kill the locusts. No, he's got four wounds. So you want to kill some neophytes then? Yeah. Threes, threes to hit and threes to kill. Is this minus two? Minus two. Because you gave them the assault doctrine? No, the axe is minus two. So one dies. Now I get to hit back the locusts into your crusade squad. They're immortal. Yeah, we'll see. Just admitting a little rules mistake. The Locust always fights first, so Steve technically should have fought first with his Crusade squad. Because otherwise I could have actually attacked them before they had Oh, interesting. Chance. Okay. But you, that's, it was easy that you would have just done that. We don't right. have command points for us to have shenanigans or anything else, so it really would have had no effect. You would have just chosen to go there first. Right. Although, maybe I would have chopped down your guys and then the Canoness could have... No, she didn't charge him, so she wouldn't be able to declare a target. Right. He throws back his, cl uh, his cloak and he's got four or three arms with swords in them, his Locust Blades. Hitting on twos. Oh, come on! That's why I keep the faith. Strength four minus three AP, so it ignores your special rule, of course. Four is the wound. Yeah, wound me first, though, right? I did. Minus okay. three, so you get a six up save, or you can kill the guy in the back. Six up save. Six up save. Oh, you lose your veteran. <laughs> okay, roll the die again on a one. He's perma dead. 
Okay, no, he's not permitted. And he will not consolidate. Actually, no, he always fights first, so I can consolidate. No, he gets an extra damage when he charges. He's gonna stay back. Two power sledgehammer wielding aberrants into the Emperor's Champion. So minus one to hit you because it's a power sledgehammer, and then another minus one because of your special rule. I'm but, only gonna parry. Yeah, but they, we don't stack those any more than minus one. So four is to hit. So good thing, because that would be one less hit. Two's to wound. And these are both at minus three, lots of damage. Four up in Oh, they were minimum three damage each. D6, no. D6 damage minimum three. Nothing, nothing. Whatever. Nothing for the invuln. Whatever. That brings us to the neophytes. I will pile it. Nah, you know what? It's just gonna be the three attacking because I wanna leave the space for the locust next turn. They know the state of the way, otherwise he'll just chop down through them. Fours to hit your cannoness and fours to wound your cannoness. Oh. Yeah. Into morale, I lost three neophytes here. Leadership seven because I don't have a leader. Uh, so we're good. Two aberrants, the only leadership seven. So on a six, I'll, they'll run. No. And to the Gene Seether Cult's turn. We're gonna advance this group of acolytes. Three, two, four, six, eight, nine. They're gonna stick out a line of sight as they come up and around. One of them is holding a big detonation charge. It's a very scary weapon. Neophytes on this side will just hold still. <laughs> Getting ready to gun down your veterans. Shooting is pretty straightforward, just these neophytes into your poor little veterans. And one's gonna huck a blasting charge at you. So we got uh, mining lasers first. Two hits, two's to wound. Of course, these are, uh, you'll have six up saves against these. And you're done. So you're gonna roll to through permadead? No, and no! Oh, you're lucky. The locust will charge in. And then fight first. Are you ready for this cannoness? I just got the neophyte left. Yeah, and it's not even in combat. <laughs> like, who do I listen to? And fours, fours, or sorry, twos to hit. I don't know why I said fours, although I got all the fours. Twos to hit, threes to wound, because your cannoness is just tough as three. You ready for this? Yup. These are all minus three, two matter. damage. Doesn't matter, Matthew. Oh no, what's your invuln? Four, Four up. Oh, How much the damage? Emperor protects two each. Uh, nothing. I got a tail. I got a tail. Nothing. I got a tail. Yep. I forgot the tail last time. Oh, I missed. Oh, she was at four wounds though. That that was scary. At least it should have been. So now you get to choose who fights next. If you keep your faith in the Emperor, Matthew, you will feel no fear. So mm. it wasn't scary. He's gonna go here and just start chopping heads again, hitting two. on twos oh, re -rolls. and threes. Oh baby. Uh, I guess we, actually one more time. One more yeah. time. So well, yeah, one at a time. We got two, one, 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 one. one. Hey, that's one. easy to remember. I can actually just roll those yeah. together then. <laughs> so five up to ignore each of those. Oh, baby, that's you just actually, killed the one. That's all show needed, we needed. You just killed the one, now I'm gonna kill you with the other one. Nah. You ready? Yep. Ready to die? Four's to hit. Look at that. You feel, you're trembling in your boots yet? I don't think he's done with me yet. <laughs> Two's to wound. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Four up in bones. F. Normally I would be worried, but you don't understand. Because you just keep rolling your four ups. The light of the emperor keeping <laughs> you strong. Add them my neo fights. Now they'll pile in so they can all fight. And we got fours to hit and fours to wound. Oh yeah! Sorry, I forgot that she actually got to go next. So, but no damage was done anyways. Yeah, that's true. Is she going after the locust? Yep. We are hitting on twos. What's your toughness? Three. Oh, pff, fours. I don't know why he wants this, but this is what he wants. <laughs> so Apparently the Locust is your servant now. <laughs> he's a servant to the Emperor. Don't kill him. I was like, I didn't know he was on our side. <laughs> it's like Gollum for Lord of the Rings. He's, he's, he's needed for later. He's needed for later. <laughs> well, you've lost a lot of your Crusade squad. You've lost your veterans. No, no, Sister no, Cathale fine. is um, in trouble. I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, like, and, you're, and you still have one aberrant to fight. Um who can't run away from that. Well, Look at morale, morale won't matter here, so really it's just your yeah, turn. Yeah, I think we're just gonna, I will helmet on him. The litany, litany on himself. No, nope. nope. he's too busy. He's focused. Um, well, I think the Bulkans can see fine, but not the target they want. Well, the they, problem is they're, they're all engaged. Closer. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and, and shift back over. And we gotta get this out of the way. Is she gonna? She is gonna retreat. Fall back. I'm gonna fall back, I think this is the proper term. Hey, hey, 
And then what we're gonna do is unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to ignore them for a bit. So we're gonna go ahead and have... You can always do the heavy bolter first. And, and then oh, there. right, I forgot that was active. We'll do that first. Yeah. Then you... So the quad bolter is hitting on four. It's... Oh, wait, 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 wait. So let's finish that, but we forgot to roll to see if you hacked. Oh, so how but, no, you... no, 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 that finished the bolter. Three's to wound, so three, three. guns. That's enough. Oh, no, it's not enough. That's, That's okay, we got plenty of guns. Two. So still three there. Although, your melts might be closer to the locust. It will be, it will be. But we gotta check the hack. Now, yeah. last time it was on a four and you made it, so now it's on a five again. Oh, baby! That's a specialty. What's the specialty? Yeah. This door opens. Wait. Those jerks. Coming out of stasis, we have a group of Electro Priests. Full grade Electro Priests. They're on our side though, right? Um, maybe. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You have access to them now. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. Yeah. So because we should have done the movement phase, like this should be for the movement phase, they hey. can come in. Hey. Well, okay, in that case, what I want to do then is, no, never mind, I want to change nothing. Next, we're going to throw a frag grenade at those poor little... Yeah, three, three shots. shots. Three hits. One wound. Five up. All right, now they're below three, so you can freely target the locust without worrying about whether you Both gun the squad melt into him. All right, so wait, can y'all see? Now you can see. Melters! Threes to hit, twos to wound. Yeah. Got a five up invuln on him. He's one of my only, no, he's my only character, I believe, with an invuln besides the patriarch. He's gonna dodge out of the way. Dodge, dodge, dodge! No. So somehow you only roll ones for the damage. First one does it's four dead. damage. That's it. Okay. He only has four. <laughs> Oh, yeah. The locust is just melted to pieces by the melters. Bolt gun. Bolt, Bolt gun. gun. Threes. I don't one. see the other one. Just one. Five up. Oh, I'm fine. Got to make a name for himself. Got the little neophyte. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he's a neophyte. We'll charge neophytes. Neophyte on neophytes. He's got to go first. Threes to hit in close combat. Oh, and threes to wound. We got one. Five up. He doesn't kill anybody. Nice try, neophyte. Now I'm going to hit you with a power sledgehammer. This time you're dead. Four is to hit. Oh, I miss missed. <laughs> the Emperor protects. Can I make a shooting phase real quick? What's wrong? Oh, can you see him? Yeah. Oh, the heavy bolters across there. Yeah, we did forget that. Four is to hit. Now, I kind of, this guy's starting to maybe trust him kind of maybe, but not, still not yet. Three is to wound. But that's helping. You mean that they're shooting past him to kill yeah. the bad guys? Six up save, so that kills four of them. Back to the fight phase. Going back over here. Gotta chop off that last head. Two's to hit, no. and three's to wound. I can't see the other one. Oh, sorry, two wounds, and the damage is going to be two and one. So three. Five's to ignore. I'm alive! Whew! In a small skirmish game, these guys are pesky. And then my neophytes will attack your neophyte. Four's to hit. Five's to wound. Nope. Morale, I lost a lot of these guys. Two, and hold on, I gotta count now. Yeah, that's a fail. So one runs, the other one will run on one or two. Ah, he does. Ah! Neophytes over here lost three of their buddies. Leadership seven, they're fine. So you've pretty much won, but we're gonna still play it out one more round because uh, we gotta see if I can do any more damage to you, like the Emperor's champion, obviously, tangling mm -hmm. with that one. And we still have some guns to come around this corner and like threaten you. Casualties. And we've got a big squad of acolytes that could do lots of damage to those retributors. Let's try. We're gonna fire last guns and um, mining lasers into your retributors. Mining lasers on fours and twos. So one of them, this is minus three, so you get your six up save. Emperor does not protect. Bam. Does she perma die? Ooh. That would suck. No. No. Last guns, fours and fours. Ooh, three more. Three up save that time. Oh, you're fine. I'm not gonna shoot, because I don't want a further charge. So they're just gonna declare a charge into your retributors. All right, so, yeah, and then they get mowed down. No, actually, maybe some, no, yeah, they're dead. Heavy bolt will just <laughs> mow them down. And really, we're just gonna come back to this fight with the Empress Champion. So, Can you get him? And then these guys will get mowed down too. But you get to swing first, because it's my turn. Okay, five attacks on twos. So I got some ones, and then threes. Just two. <laughs> How much damage? It's gonna be four. Oh, four, okay. <laughs> I gotta roll four or five pluses. I don't. And that's an experience as he chops on the last one. The tech priest engines here 
secures the network and he shuts down a bunch of other doors and lights up a bunch of other sentry guns and secures the area for now. So we are now, satisfied he's on our side. So far, he has only acted in your best interests. Obviously playing the long game. <laughs> the long con, right? I hate that guy. <laughs> I hate how helpful he's being right now. It's, 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 it's just weird. Yeah, as soon as an NPC is helpful, you know that they're a guy. I don't trust them. He's like, come with me. I know the way. I'm like, ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, oh, shoot. <laughs> you are leading us to our deaths. <laughs> and so between all of that, you've got added to your groups. You've got a group of priests and um, some servitors with heavy bolters and the tech priest for now. <clears throat> so <laughs> let's, let's check on upgrades to see what you got. And you didn't lose anybody. Not permanently. permanently. Yeah. Not this time. You, you, there's a lot of models removed from the table, but nobody permanently. Emperor's Champion is close to upgrading again, but the Retributors have upgraded. So Battle Trait, four plus will be from the rule book. So you can actually roll from on our table. A one is they can fall back and still shoot and charge. That's good for them. So if they do somehow get engaged, they can still fall back and fire those multi melts You have secured this area, gathered some extra reinforcements, and are now ready to head over to the nearest stasis pod of one of the Clexus assassins. Good. Ooh. So we're going to head over there right now, and you have to punch through. You'll have help of sentry guns to okay. hold off certain corridors and um, obviously help of your new friends. So you did, you did as well as you could have. You got all of the sentry guns that you could have online. So those are going to carry over into the next mission as Excellent. well. So that next mission will be in the mini wargaming vault at the link below. If you are not a vault member, still click it, get a free seven day trial and check out these videos right away. It's instant access. So in the trial membership, you have access to everything. So go check it out. Thanks for watching and happy wargaming.